Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign, playing as a certain select missile-based nation na named Hopeville. So, uh, like the other sort of campaigns, it's just going to be all default, no idea what's going to happen, so we're going to keep that. And historical AI is off, so you might be able to tell, this is not the NCR. Well, we're using the mod Sweet Home California Beta at the time of this recording. Obviously, we're also using Old World Blues. We are also using colored events, colored buttons, state transfer tool mod, and player led piece of conferences because, well, those are pretty much tried and true. So let's get started. Put you guys over here. Put you under the guy with the most attack, Allison. And for couriers by couriers, the area of Hopeville was largely built by the streams of couriers going between Shady Sands to the Mojave, leading to Hopeville being formed as a courier type settlement. Good. And unfortunately, we only have two research slots, which. Seem like they're really going to limit me. But you know what? When's the last time I had a campaign where we only had two research slots? It's kind of wild. And let's just build military factories. Next up, we have some guns. Uh, we're going to get some dynamite. I want some support equipment because our divisions, these defenders, they're only 18 combat width. And they use dynamite, so that'll be important. And I kind of know what's going to happen early game, but we'll see what happens. And I'm not going to make any divisions, and that's why. And, soon enough, we get a little event saying, Hopeville was founded by couriers who discovered the shortcut to the Mojave Wasteland. Couriers are the very resourceful, or they're very resourceful, due to the nature of their job. But there was one area in particular where these couriers were the best. Were they the strongest? The healthiest? Or the smartest? I'm going to go with the strongest, because that sounds like fun. I like strong boys. Strong couriers. But what did we carry? The couriers of Hopeville were known to by the Wasteland as couriers highly skilled in... Something. Very much something so. Disable backstory decisions. But yes, this will be very interesting since we only have two research slots. While the couriers here were open to transporting anything, there was one type of delivery we excelled in. Large packages, speedy deliveries, sensitive information. Well, research speed is okay, but eh, I don't mind speedy deliveries, but large packages, I like them large. Bright future. The future of Hopeville is looking very bright and as such. The inhabitants decided to invest heavily in something. So, uh, right now, I, before we do anything else, I want to let you know, I am open to any land doctrine that we use. Well, not really. That's a lie. I don't want to use refined warfare. Don't really care about using automated warfare. So let me know in the comments below. Should I do conventional warfare or asymmetric warfare? And if we choose either one of those two, which path? Ancient tactics? Wasteland tactics? Trooper warfare? Mechanized warfare? I'll let you decide because, well, it really doesn't matter to me. I'm good with either of those two and either branches of those land doctrines. So, a bright future. While the land is harsh and there's a lot of work to do, everyone here is ready to put Hopeville on the map. As a new town, we have so many choices from where we should begin investing our time K, or time -ec. Where should we start? Should we fix the infrastructure, which looks pretty darn good, expand Hopeville's militia, which you get population, or expanding the trade posts? I'm going to go with militia. Now, that was the first time we selected one for... More manpower. Let's see what happens next. So, open for business. Hopeville is now established enough to allow us to truly open Route 95 for trade. However, there's still a lot of work that will have to be done to convince traders to travel through Route 95 instead of the Long 15. Yeah, why would you want to go down this way? That's ugly. That's disgusting. There's, It's filled with the scorpions. Hopeville. Just go through Hopeville. It's nice. It gives you hope, you know? But you know what? As a shortcut to the Mojave Wasteland, we are in a prime position to reap the benefits of California's increasing relations with the Mojave. Although trade will start out as nothing more than a mere trickle, it will without a doubt bring wealth to Hopeville, in which we get two off-map civilian factories. But we have migrants arriving. Our trusted officials have begun spreading the word of our newfound settlements to wandering travelers in hopes that we will bring direly or dearly needed migrants to Hopeville. However, some fear it may bring unforeseen complications and that is okay and soon enough we shall have an event saying what what shall it say boom it would appear that rumors have spread throughout the Mojave and California about the opportunity to start anew within Hopeville what started as a small trickle of one or two wastelanders eventually expanded to almost 600 new faces that are willing to join us however they have arrived with bad news rumors that raiders are right on their tail and we get five more divisions I love it even though these are six combat width, or yeah, that's literally six combat width, that is not ideal. So, we're making a few things here. This is probably a really bad idea. 
I'm just going to go ahead and convert these guys, though. Please turn into Hopewell Defenders, which will be better overall, and we don't have the manpower for that. Oh, no. But Raiders enter the Divide. With the Raiders' div wealth, with the Divide's wealth exponentially growing, Raiders have begun establishing camps along the routes to the Mojave, causing economic hardship for our couriers and causing instability within our ranks. Oh, boy. And that does not look very good whatsoever. And we're going to need more population. But that's what this button is for. Or this button for conscription. So, upon hearing about the prosperous trade routes forming within Hope Hill, roughly 500 raiders have entered our lands and have begun a forced march towards Hope Hill. Oh no! Oh, they get manpower. I don't like that. And we are currently sharing a couple slots here. And they immediately died. So, let's clean up. The battle was intense and many died on both sides, however. We have successfully forced the raider to retreat to the mountains and we are hot on their tail. There's a lot of use of the word however, but that's okay. That's okay. However is not a bad word. And thank God we're still mobilizing. Woo! And we sent a white piece, dealing with the survivors. Although the battle was pitched and we lost many friends, we have successfully pushed the raiders to the mountains, and after several days of intense siege, they've agreed to surrender. The question is, though, what do we do with the survivors? Do we end their suffering with get more stability and guns, and we annex? Or they may join us, we lose stability and get some more manpower. I could really use manpower. Let's end their suffering. And the package. A courier known only as Courier 6 has arrived at the gates of Hopeville, and says that he was ordered to deliver to a strange package that bears marks of the Hopeville missile silos. Do we allow him in within our lands? That's a good question, my friends. That's a very, very good question. Who do we promote? Philippe? Evander? Hmm. Something tells me we might want to go to war with Ashton soon enough. And what's going to happen? We're still mobilizing. That's very good. Very, very good. A strange courier has arrived and is demanding access to Ashton. He refuses to elaborate on what is within his package, but it, it bears a symbol that is very similar to the symbols scattered throughout Ashton's military complexes. The guards say that they have a bad feeling about allowing the man in, but doing so could damage our reputation temporarily as we are refusing trade. What do we do? We don't have any option but to deny him access. And here we go. We can do our future. Our future is uncertain. We are surrounded on all sides by powerful neighbors and have little room to expand. We must decide who shall lead our nation through these difficult times. Absolutely. Absolutely. We've got plenty of guns. We need more dynamite, though. Hmm. This guy's looking pretty good. Uh, if anything, just go ahead and everyone train. If you need it. Because someone tells me we're going to go with the war with Ashen. Now, this is the thing. With Hopeville, we have three options. We can maintain our democratic values, which has three slots under there, which we can join the NCR, uh, we can do some Lebensraum, or we can create the Mojave Pact with New Vegas. Cool, Republic of the Mojave. But we could also do Intellectual Path, where we become the Enclave. We can assassinate the Remnant and become the Enclave, basically. Or deal with the Hardliners and become a Brotherhood Chapter. Well, in the context of this campaign, the previous campaigns I've done use power armor, so I'm not using power armor, and I don't really think it's good for me to go intellectuals, so we're just going to go with the new orders where we become elites. To ensure the survival of our state and people, we must abandon our democratic beliefs and replace it with a powerful authoritarian government. Cool. And let us see. We want to get a little bit more manpower first, because we're kind of out right now. Great. Keep mobilizing. Keep, keep on mobilizing. That will be awesome. Jackson McKenney, soon enough you will probably not be leading us. Because you are the people. And the people are okay, but we need we need results. Let's get some construction speed and some fertilizer or organized agriculture. That sounds great. Yeah, we definitely need more dynamite. We only get 1.45 a week. Oh, that is really not ideal. But at least we're training to make our soldiers better. That's always good. Because the green gives you a negative 25%. Modifier? Oh, that is not bueno, man. That is not bueno. And because of this path, we want to go to war with Ashton, which will be, let's say, a little difficult. But if we move fast enough, we can strike them down, which will be good. They have only three divisions. If we move in fast enough, we can hopefully crush them. Especially with fairly good divisions. So the Boomers declare war on the Sky Reavers. Good luck, Boomers. Good luck. You're probably going to need that. How much do we need for this? 1.5. Oh, my goodness. We get, like, none a day. Point. Two five. That's basically none a day. Well, so far the boomers are doing pretty well. They're expanding on in a large front. Oh, they lost that. If you could attack there and win, then you could do an encirclement. A good big boy move. But right now I'm going to grab 
person of the community to get more stability and political power, because that's very nice. And eventually, I do want to get Amos Phelps. Capitol Hill has fallen. Let's see how these new owners behave from now on. Military theorists, so we get some more land doctrine speed, which I want you guys to let me know in to, by tomorrow's video which doctrine I should take. And maybe the Brotherhood's going to not survive. And, oh god, followers of the apocalypse, let them come, who cares. Organized agriculture, very good, very good. Uh, let's go with work assignments, because I always choose almost pretty much every single campaign in Old World Blues. I choose work as needed, but let's go have a little bit of fun with work assignments. Let me keep it a little different. Troll War and Carcass Walkers, that's cool. Very cool. And we have the new order. The conquest of Ashton. Our weak neighbors that inhabit the city of Ashton must be dealt with swiftly and brutally to ensure our border with California is secure and properly defended, which we get free cores on Ashton. Hopefully, they don't make... Oh, wait, are you guys all training? Train only if you have to. Yeah, I think they were already doing that. How many divisions they got? One to three? Good. I don't want any more than three. Anything more than three is going to be a pain in the butt fighting in these places, which... They have outposts, but it looks like... Well, that's, that doesn't matter. That is a desert, which sucks. There's Olympus Tribe. That is a desert, which sucks. The capital of Ashton itself is something I can't see. And once we are about 30 days, and I will stop training my soldiers. Let's grab some of that. That sounds like fun. We are still out of manpower, you know, so be it. Ashton, please don't make any more divisions. Good. They have 1 to 3, which is good. Just because... I might have tried this a little bit before, and they made more divisions, causing a lot of issues for me. Hmm. Alright, go and stop training then. That's good enough. Yeah. But I do have a backup plan. If they do get... Oh, they have... They probably have five divisions now. I do have a backup plan here, just in case for these guys. Oh, we've got plenty of infantry equipment. That's pretty nice. Grant them bases... Consumer technology, stability, 66% is good enough for now. I want to go to war with Ashton. If we can just do, like, just take their capital, that should be enough to kill them off, but we'll see what happens. Nice. And, ooh. Oh, they're establishing themselves, that's fine. Can anyone give me more attack? More attack is always good. Hmm. I'm going to need that for right now. Great. We can go to war with them. And we can bring an end to Good Springs. To our east lies a weak and fledgling of settlers that are scattered across the Good Springs and Sloan, a swift and brutal invasion of these poverty-stricken wastelanders. Now this will allow us access into the Mojave. So now if this doesn't go well, you might see me fade in and fade out because this is going to be a little bit of a pain in the derriere. I'm going to grab, let's see, logistics, supply consumption, fill up, just because this will be good. Uh, actually, it's not bad. Fight the power. Tank. Uh, melee attacker. Out of supply. I'm going to go with attack, just because right now it's going to be a... Oh, actually, can you get two? Oh, we only have so much. I'm going to go to war immediately. Can we take Ashton proper immediately? 75. There's only two of them there for now. 80, that's good. 83, 84, come on. If I had more command power, I'd actually force attack. 90. I'm just really emphasizing the attack right now, just because I tried this earlier and I couldn't attack in the initial thrust. Okay, whew, they're gone, thank goodness. And now we have a quarter and a little bit more population, and we don't have resistance now, which is great. Go ahead and do that because we need them there. Good. And next up, let's go down, go down here. And we can continue. Do we really want to continue training? Uh, that'd, be, that'd be fine. So, quick expansion. A little bit more manpower, especially when we have some raised wasteland militias. We do want to go to well-equipped army as well, which would be very nice. We have a good, very good stockpile of infantry equipment. A goodish stockpile of uh, demo equipment, which would be awesome to throw on these guys. Oh, uh, you know what? Since we're here... This isn't ideal. But, I could throw in demo. Uh, manpower. Actually, these are the same amount of manpower. You get a little bit more breakthrough. You get six more soft attack. Hmm. 
35 manpower, 25 manpower, infantry equipment, infantry, demo equipment. I don't have that much more. Uh, we'll just grab some infantry then, since we have enough infantry right now. So that'll be good. Make our guys even stronger. That'll be great. It doesn't cost us that much either. So I can get rid of you, but I definitely, definitely, definitely want to get special forces, which means we got to research them. Hmm. But these guys are good enough for now. Oh, an extra factory? I love factories. We might consider getting guns as well, or chemical companies, and stuff like that. Or planes. Planes sound very nice, too. Oh, ask them to help followers to get more civilian factories. Seed selection, very nice. Woodworking, very good. And then we're going to get special forces ability thingamabobs. Excuse me, this is a land we would like. Oh, let's go ahead and stop training. They're so close to being good. Anointed to declare war Murtaugh, very cool. Get a little bit more organization. They'll probably get enough XP to be uh, regulars, so that'll be nice. Bring an end to good springs, and then we can make preparations for the coming conquests or create a militaristic society. That looks like fun. To ensure our nation can survive, we must educate our entire populace in ways of warfare and survive only then can we be capable of crushing our foe. Yeah, the, the uh, descriptions here of the focuses or foci, they're very not grammatically correct. <laughs> or even my speech is not very grammatically correct. Let's see what we can do here. It says we have good, we've got a very good chance to win. I'm going to trust it. Oh, wow. Well, oh, that is... That 17% strength isn't a lot of strength. Work assignment's great. Hurts our growth, but whatever, man. Whatever. It's only growth. Tool procurement, that'd be nice. Let's get some... Scout kits. Leather armor, along with a rudimentary knapsack, skidding knife, and basic survival equipment make up the standard kit of a tribal scouting party. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm not sure why they don't have that much strength, but you know what? I'm not going to question it. I like it. I like it that they're weak. Good. Push them back. Get some more XP. Reduce your casualties to basically nothing. I love it. And get cores. I love the cores. Because then next, we're going to go to war against the fiends. Which sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, more factories. I love the factories. Uh, go ahead and do that. That's fine with me. We don't have really much else. Saws are okay. They're really not excellent. Maybe I'll make some. I never use motorcycles. I'm not the 80s. What are you talking about? I'm not the 80s, which I still haven't played at the time of this recording. Hmm. Explore the rift draft, consumer goods. Uh, yeah, that stuff is all alright. Cool. Let's grab you. Actually, uh, army XP, we can wait on that. Maybe we'll equip the army because we can build things faster. Oh, actually, I'm not even building anything. Hmm. We can repair stuff. 50. Yeah, there you go. Let's go repair everything first since we already have cores on everything. Nice. Core states. Love it. I wonder how strong these guys are. I'm not going to waste civilian factories right now on producing intelligence agencies. I don't think it's really worth it right now. And eventually, yes. But right now, no. Nah. Fire teams. You get more defense. Organization goes down. You get a little bit more soft attack. You get no more breakthrough. Less organization. A little bit more HP. But, mm, I don't know. It seems okay. Anything else? Followers aid? Medical oh, medical tech. That'd be pretty good to do. What are we missing? Water? Oh, scrap metal. That's not good. But it's only minus one, so we'll, we'll kind of be okay. Great. Oh, all shall serve. That's pretty good. Make preparations for the coming conquest. The ambitions of our leadership are risky, and if they are not properly planned out, will, well, without a doubt, end in a complete and utter disaster. As such, we must prepare not only our army, but our entire population and its industries for war. And we get two more military factories or arms workshops, which we don't really do much with. Cool. It is what it is. Uh, actually, are you guys... No, you can still train. Okay, well, we'll keep going. Keep going, guys. I don't want to train more defenders because that'll lower our population for now, and I really don't want to do that. I mean, robots actually would probably be a smart idea to use, but I don't really want to use robots. Yeah. Oh, what happened here? The boomers lost. No, the boomers won. The boomers have beat the Sky Reavers. Usually when I play using the Sweet Home California mod, the boomers usually lose because AI is sometimes not very competent. 
SS are declared war on the Grabber territory. Shady Sands Republic. I definitely need to try you out sometime. Oh, looks like a nice focus. Oh, yeah, looks like a nice focus read to me. Oh, baby. That is a lot. The magnet? Magnet? Cool. What are we going to do here? We're going to grab you and see what happens. Oh, also, cultural policies. We can muzzle dissent for less resistance target. We can also freedom of speech for more resistance target and more political power gain. Or the state press, where we lose political power, get less resistance target, and more get more daily compliance gain, which sounds actually pretty nice. I like state press. The state press would never lie to us and hurt us. I think that's pretty appropriate. Political uh, Army XP is looking very good. We got a little bit of wood working now. We can already go and grab dedicated workshops. I'm not sure why you want even less growth, but you know, it is what it is. Very cool. And maybe soon we can make some special forces. Lord's Anointed, very awesome. Because these guys are looking pretty good already. 20 combat width with explosive support. Mm. Let us go ahead and... Rebuild the Ashton Military Complex. To ensure we are capable of subduing the Mojave, we must rebuild the crumbling Ashton Military Complex, which in days past was the main armament factory in Ashton. However, now it is a shadow of its former glory, but with a little bit of work, we can get its production lines running once again. Yes, we can. Yes, yes, yes. We could also militarize society, but... Uh, I don't want to lose that much. We can wait for that. Travel scout kits? Great. Hunting kits. Division training time. Mm, if we want to do something here, maybe I could grab some healing powder. That probably would be pretty good to do. Yeah, I'm thinking that's probably... Happy 2276, my friends. It's January. Must... Well, we're in the Mojave, so there's no snow. It is what it is. Now let's grab some of these bad boys on that. Get this. And begin training. Uh, well, only one. Because that's all we can afford. And I don't want to use up my manpower too much. Manpower is very precious. We only have a core population of 58,000, which actually isn't terrible, but it definitely isn't great. Actually, do we have any idea how strong the fiends are? They might be pretty strong. 2 to 12 divisions. We might need some special forces to do this. And yeah, we're going to need this too. Let's go ahead and do that. So that'd be fine. Oh, we're making some guns now. That's fine with me. Whatever. Whatever. Go ahead and do that too. That'd be very nice. Ooh, we got some more political power. I love it. Military high command, attack defense, core territory, army XP gain, reconnaissance. It's not bad. Hmm. Honest speaker. Justify world goes times. Friends in, ah, friends in high places. 10% political power isn't much, but when you get that, and I basically get 0.2 more. That's not bad. Especially when you want to core stuff later on. That'll come in handy. It'll definitely come in handy. Actually, with this, we get Wargol gets a Fiends, but we don't get a core on it. So that'll be the first place that we have to core. So, Occupied Territories. You are already Militia Force, which is good. We should probably research dogs if possible. Doggos, as some might say, are man's best friend. And they would be the bestest of friends with military policemen. Very nice. Good. Rebuild the Ashton Military Complex. Very nice, very nice. All shall serve, though. Although our army has been bolstered by a steady stream of new recruits, it is simply not enough to achieve our ambitions. As such, we have no choice. But to begin convincing our entire populace that all within our lands shall serve. All shall serve whether they like it or not. I wish I could just buy a research slot. That'd be fun. A little OP, but that'd be fun. You know what? This is only 10 political power. We're making enough now. That we're going to get some more medical tech. Research speed would be nice, but eh. Could wait. Honestly, right now with our military or our industry, we pretty much have enough of what we really need already. Yakuza. Yeah, I mean, this could be better, but once we have the division, we'll be pretty good. We're getting some army XP already. That's very nice. Um... Yeah, not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Come on, let's finish this up as fast as possible. What is the world doing right now? New Reno has joined the NCR. That's the earliest I've ever seen New Reno join. Why? Well, you're not even in the NCR. They're still the Shady Sands Republic, and they're fighting Grabber Territory, too. Grabber Territory, yeah. Oh, American PMC. Hmm. Nevada Reclamation. That's cool. Oh, they have Thrad's Army there. For the Master. 
I like healing powder. Grab some dogs. Even though I could, I, I could absolutely research other things. I think this is an appropriate thing to do. We got some political power. We are going to grab. We could grab that. Or is there anything else here? Justify war goals times is lower. It's oh my god! I gotta do that one. I gotta do this one. Want something for here for an economic advisor? But there's really not much here that I care about. Let's go with warmonger. So if I need to manually go to war with someone, we can. And then I'm gonna grab probably. Stephen Stephen Hardy as well. Good, good, good. Well, it's 12 days left, 12 days, and 3 days for dedicated workshops. Man, we really have no growth here. But a little bit more output. Alright, we can grab more construction speed. I know I could do the one up top, the tool procurement thing. I could do that, but eh, that's okay. We almost have our division out, hopefully. And all shall serve. Good. Good. And now, bringing order to the Mojave. To start our conquest of the Mojave, we must first focus on the weaker factions within the Mojave, such as the Mojave chapter and the state of Utobithia. Utobitha. We get more, oh, look at that, attack and recovery rate. And we get a war goal against the fiends. Actually, we get other war goals. Oh, we, we get the Long 15 and Palm Gardens, great. Crush the mutants, okay, we do. Cool, I don't know if we did or not, so we do. We get it against Hidden Valley and Helios 1. I mean, we really hurt the Mojave chapter, which we might need some anti-tank here. That would actually be a very good thing to start researching. Some anti-tank. Then again, I've done nothing for my land auction, which, like I said, I want you guys to decide for me which land auction I should choose. Very cool. Only one of these guys. That'd be great. We have 10 army XP for whatever we really want. Actually, chem companies. How many guys do I have here? 355 support equipment. This is probably a smart idea. Hmm, you've got time to do this a little bit. That'll be good. So if we lose any guys, since we're using infantry, let's be good. She and Tanker Vagrant. Oh, wow, that's a... That's an interesting decision to go to war with them up there. Especially over the little bay area in, in California. New Vegas, declare one Jacobs. Ooh. Hmm. You're really reaffirming that I'm going to need to attack with anti tank, my friend. Bring up civilization. Flyboy. Mm hmm. Core territory, defensive core territory. Um. Now what, do, what do I do? I guess I can go with this. I guess for now, that'd be fine. Hey, boys, we got this guy now. So, let's do this. You guys are like that. But then you, under Evander Hook, come right there. Alright, there. It's really ugly, but whatever. Some things, I guess, were just made to be ugly. Oh, good, good. New Vegas to play War and Vault. Oh, my goodness. As long as they don't go to war with the... F oh, they're at war with the Fiends. That's not cool. I hope you get taken out, New Vegas. I really hope you get taken out. They're doing somewhat well against Jacobstown. Jacobston. Oh, don't you dare. I'm taking the vault. I don't care what happens. Sh Shushani Nation? Cool. Come on. Don't let Vegas do it. No, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Mr. House is going to have to get taken down. That's a fact. Let we get these dogs. We're going to get some anti-tank. And begin to just pierce these people like crazy. Come on. No! That's my land. Crush the mutants. Seize the highways. Oh, seize the highways. So to ensure we are the unopposed, or we are completely unopposed within the Mojave, we must secure the Long 15 to block off access to the Mojave from California, leaving us to continue our conquests unopposed. This is my land. I want it. I want it. I want it. I'm going to take at least one little part of this. There's no way I'm going to give this to House. He can have a little part. Does he actually have cores on this? I don't think so. Draw war and marrow drinkers. Very cool. Old Vegas tribe was annexed. Alright, whatever. Anything else here that I really care about? War propaganda? Uh, that'd actually probably be pretty good to do right now. 
And let's immediately grab some anti-tank, because I think we're going to go to war with House pretty soon. Awesome. So, they might have done a lot of the work, but I ended up taking Vault 3 with my soldiers in it. So they can have the Outer City. Well, I take good old Vault 3. Thank you. Here, you can have this, but I'm still going to kill you for that. Cool. Hopefully this won't come back and, and bite me in the butt. Immediately. Cool, but that's pretty much all the time for that we have today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed today's episode with Hope Bill. Tomorrow we will go to war probably with New Vegas because they are a bunch of duty heads, of poopy heads. I don't know why I said it like that, but let me know in the comments below. Which land auction should we take? Should we go conventional warfare with mechanized warfare or trooper warfare? Probably not trooper warfare. Or asymmetric warfare with ancient tactics or wastelander tactics. It's your decision, guys. We're just playing as a bunch of couriers in a missile base. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll catch you all tomorrow as we have a good time in the Mojave. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.